Hey guys, have you ever wondered how to use foam for setting posts for your fencing project? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how. Here we go. So for this post hole, we're gonna use Sika Post Fix. You can buy this at Home Depot. I got, I think it's about $14. So, and it actually does two up to, it compares to two 50 pound concrete bags. So that's pretty impressive. It is twice the price, but if you're doing two concrete bags anyways, especially with the fast setting, it's about the same price. So how this works, and this is actually my first time using it, so I'm kind of curious to see how it works. I built a lot of fence, dug a lot of holes, set tons of posts, and never used this. So we're gonna test it out today and see if it really works, how well it works, how well it holds up. You're gonna roll it, and it's gonna puncture and burst the seal. Okay, once that seal is broken, you're gonna mix it, it says vigorously, for 15 seconds. Now once you do that, you're gonna cut the corner, make sure your post is level and ready, you're gonna pour it in, and uh, you have 10 seconds to make sure your post is level. You have three to five minutes, depending on your temperature, um, and once that's done, I mean, it says two hours before it cures, before you wanna hold, you put fencing on it, or, or hang gates, or whatever you're gonna use it for wait at least two hours. So um, we're gonna try this out. I'm excited to see how it works. Um, so we're gonna get set up. Our post in there, it was level. It shouldn't be too hard to get it back level again. So let's break this seal, let's mix it up and uh, see what happens. All right, I'm just gonna make sure my post where I need it to be. Just when this foam goes in, like it says 10 seconds is all you have for it's pretty hard. So. What you're gonna do, you'll see these arrows. We're gonna take it out of its little other package. You got these arrows. So we're gonna roll it, it's gonna burst the seal. We're gonna shake it and we're gonna mix it vigorously for 15 seconds. We're gonna pull it, we're gonna cut it, dip it in or pour it in. You got 10 seconds to make sure your post is level, okay? So we got a challenge here. Let's see how this stuff works. So. Got my scissors close by, got a level so we can level the post. Here we go. Maybe you gotta do it this way. Alright, so one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, fourteen, and fifteen. Here we go. Now we got about ten seconds after I cut this open. So let's see how this works. So I'll just keep making sure you're level. It's definitely filling up. You can feel it getting a little bit stronger. It's coming up actually probably faster now than it was. So just make sure you're on your string line, make sure you're level. We got a little bit of wind too. So when you got wind and it's blowing on your post, you're gonna wanna go back and make sure you double check them. After a little while, make sure they're set. Pretty cool stuff, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we just did some foam. This is my first time ever doing foam. I thought I was gonna have to go a lot faster. Well, it, uh, it just gave us more time to work with. So um, I wanna rush it, mix it really well, pour it in. When we first poured it in, we were like, I, I don't know if that's gonna fill that hole. And uh, it just started growing. So it's been about three minutes, three to five minutes. You know, and, and I had time to kind of make sure my post was set. It's still not solid yet, obviously. We're gonna give it some more time. Um, but it is like holding it. So there's nothing to worry about there. It also says it basically will do up to 250 pound bags, which I don't agree with that. I, I just did a 50, 250 pound bags on another post and uh, it filled the hole all the way up. So just to compare right there, but it works pretty well. The seal broke really easily. It mixed okay. I cut it open and, and here we are. So um, I'm curious to see how it holds up here shortly. It's about two hours before you can hang fence on it. So I'm curious to come back in two hours and see really if you can hang fence on it. We'll see. All right, guys, we just came out here after about two hours of letting this foam dry and cure. They said within two hours, you should be able to hang fence off this post. Now, it is definitely 
very loose, squeaks quite a bit. I definitely would not hang a gate. I don't even know if I'd put fence on the, or any type of fencing on this post, unfortunately. Um, there may be some better foam products out there for posts, but as far as the foam goes, I would not recommend it. You're better off with driving or concrete. It's actually more expensive to get the foam than some concrete. Same amount of work, just go with concrete. Um, it's obviously really light. The packaging is nothing. It's very little space, very light. So I guess the only con to it is really that, is hauling that around compared to concrete is way lighter. But um, I would throw this option out out of all my options, driving and concrete. I would go with one of the other options. So anyway guys, hopefully this helped answer your question on if foam actually works. But watch our next video and uh, hopefully we can help you on your next fencing project. Brought to you by Sun Peaks Fence Barn. Hey guys, if you like what you see in these videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos.